Hello. Welcome to the Sage 50 Cloud Pastel How to Video. In this video we will demonstrate how to use Bank Manager in Sage 50 Cloud Pastel. Bank Manager is an add-on module which allows users the ability to import their bank statement transactions into their cash book. To use this module, Bank Manager must appear under Help and About in Pastel. Bank Manager can be accessed from the cash book by clicking on the Pastel Bank Manager button. In this window you will select the bank that you are using for that particular cash book. In the case your bank does not appear on the list there is an option to use the CSV import. We will discuss that in detail later on this video. Once you have selected your bank next is Statement Provider click on the three dots to browse for the bank statement you have downloaded. Pastel will also give a guide on the supported file type for the you are using, and it differs from bank to bank. Browse for your downloaded statement and click on Open. This will import all the transactions that are in the statement. The next step would be then to allocate each transaction to a GL account, customer or supplier. All the transactions need to be allocated in order for these to be transferred to the cash book. To move the transaction to the cash book, when our lines have been allocated click on Create Batch and select all batches which will move both the payments and receipts to the cash book. In the case your bank is not listed amongst the service provides users have an option to import a CSV file. Most banks will allow users to download their statement in CSV or Excel format. In order for this to import in Bank Manager the formatting should be as displayed. It is also important to use the correct date format for your transaction dates. Receipt transactions should have a positive amount whilst the payments should have negative amounts. Once all your transactions are listed then save your file accordingly and ensure that the file type is CSV. Access your cash book and click on the Bank Manager button and for the provider select CSV then browse to the file we saved on the previous step. Your statement will import with all the transactions and that were in the CSV. Allocate these transactions to their respective accounts then click on Create Batch in all batches to transfer the transactions to the cash book. Users can also use the Mappings feature which will allow them to use a part of a statement description as a guide as to which account to allocate this transaction to. Next time another statement is imported, that description will be picked up the transaction will be allocated automatically as per the mappings. To add and edit the mappings click on Configure Mappings. The mappings can also be exported and opened in Excel edited and imported back should you wish to do that. Lastly once these mappings are imported users can apply them immediately to the current import or use them on the next import they do. Users can also use a split transaction feature which will allow the transaction to be split into smaller transactions which can be linked to different accounts. To do this right click on the transaction you want to split and select split transaction. You will be able to then edit the amount of the original transaction and add other transactions that you wish to a point that the transaction total equals the total allocated. A red X next to the date or a 99 under the period field means that the transaction date does not fall within the financial year. Please ensure that all the transactions that are imported fall within the company's financial year. To prevent duplicates, Bank Manager will display the name of the statement that was last imported together with the date when it was imported. This will give the users a guide on what was the last statement they imported. Thank you for watching.